Hey, uh, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I was going to go over how to draw a wine glass like this in Google SketchUp for schools. Uh, a lot of other CAD softwares, you might know this as a rotate function. Here, I'm going to use a two-point arc to create my arcs and then the follow me tool to rotate it around a circle. So let me go start a I'm going to create new. I'm going to start with feet and inches. And I'm going to start by drawing a circle on the base here with a one foot radius, making sure that um, it was all blue. So it's on that flat plane there. I'm going to draw a line straight up from the center there. So I'm going to use my line tool. I want to click on the center. And see how that line is blue? That's what I want to say that I'm going perfectly perpendicular up in the z-axis. I want that line to be four feet long, so I entered four feet, enter. I'm going to actually go to my selection tool here and get rid of this guy. Let me zoom in. Go back to my line tool. I'm going to draw from the center out this way. I don't want to make sure this thing stays red to the edge. Then from there, I'm going to go up. Again, I'm going to make sure it's blue, four feet, enter. And then I'm going to close that shape up. And as I close it, it turns white, meaning that it's closed all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my arc tool. I'm going to create a two-point arc. And this one here is a two-point arc, and you can tell I've already selected it. I'm going to click somewhere on the edge here and somewhere on the edge down here, say. So there's my two points, and then I'm going to draw it out this way, and that radius, I'm going to click. Next thing I'm going to do is create another arc down here, say from, you click anywhere you want, and then onto the same stem, and then I'll draw it up. And as you can see what I did there, I was not flat on that plane. So that's a, a really common mistake. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that line, come back to my front view here. And the way that I'm gonna make sure that I'm flat on this plane, is see how that square turns red? So I want it to be flat and parallel to the x-axis, so it's red, red. And then I can't seem to get that thing to turn red. So I might have to change my orientation a little bit. See how it wants to push it out in the Y direction? So there, right there it says on face, so that'll work there. So now holding down the roller mouse key, I can see that I am a flat plane there. Next thing I'm gonna do is use my offset tool. Um, so I think offset here. I'm going to select this blue line, not the face, but that blue line, and I'll offset it 0.5 of an inch. Go back to my line tool, and I'm going to create a line. I'm say here, down to there. And now this is a profile I want to keep here. So with my selection tool, I'm going to delete everything else. I'm going to delete that blue line. That line right there. I'm going to delete that tail line there. Now I think I have a single profile of my wine glass. I'm going to go to my selection tool first. I'm going to hit my circle down here. And then I'm going to go up here to my follow me tool. And then I'm going to click on this whole thing and it's going to rotate it around that circle. So that's how you use the rotate tool in Google SketchUp. It's under the follow me. The one thing that's kind of tricky is I select what I'm going to be following first with the selection tool to the follow me tool and then click your profile. So hopefully that'll help uh, draw these objects. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thank you.